kids. I'm Pearl the Mermaid, and this is my best friend Cecil the Sea Lion. We believe in being kind and helping others. We also believe that it's important to do your part to make where you live the best place it can possibly be. One great way to make this happen is to volunteer and get involved in projects that make a difference in your neighborhood. You know what I think, Pearl? It makes you feel good to do good. It sure does, Cecil. Today's adventure is called Pitching In with Pearl and Cecil. In it, Cecil and I learn that getting involved in your community can make a real difference. Working together with friends and neighbors to improve the place you live is a great way to get to know the people around you and lets you be a part of something that helps everyone. Now remember, if you want to be a good citizen and make a difference in your community, you've got to have a plan. Like we always say, set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. It's another beautiful day off the coast of Southern California. Cecil and I started the day volunteering as crossing guards to help the school children make their way safely to their classroom underneath Paddlefish Pier. Paddlefish Pier was one of the first things built in Sand Dollar Cove. It's been the center of our community for so long, no one can remember a time when it wasn't there. It's always been a place where sea friends gather, but even though the pier is an important part of our history, the pier has seen better days. We're here! Time for school! <laughs> Slow down, hatchlings! Ouch! Those barnacles sure are sharp! Someone should probably do something about that! With all these baby fish swimming around, someone could get hurt! Watch out, Pearl and Cecil. I'm coming through. No time to talk. I'm running late. In his hurry, Wally the whale accidentally bumped into one of the beams supporting the pier as he swam past. What was once a tiny crack in the old wooden beam suddenly grew into a very, very large crack. The pier creaked and groaned, and the children gasped as splinters from the pier floated down around them. Uh-oh! That doesn't look good. It's an old pier. It's been there forever. I'm sure it'll be fine. But it wasn't fine. Over the next few days, the crack grew and expanded. Marina the dolphin, who taught at the school, decided that someone needed to do something before the problem got any worse. She called a meeting and gathered together all of the sea friends of Sand Dollar Cove. Friends, I'm so glad you could all join me today. We need to talk about the problems at Paddlefish Pier. I'm sure you've all noticed that it's in very bad shape. The wood is so old and weak. I'm starting to get worried about it holding up. Inky, you're our resident scientist. You've looked at the pier. What do you think? Oh dear, by my calculations, the supports on the old pier won't be standing for very much longer. The crack on the beam and the erosion from the barnacles will be lucky to last another month before the whole thing comes crashing down. That's awful, but who's going to fix it? I can't fix it, I just teach there. We, we can't, can't fix, fix it, it. We, we just, just go, go to school, school there. there. I just said that. No, I said it first. You said it first. I said it first. Who said it first? We, we just, just can't fix it, it. we, we go, go to school there. there. Well, I can't fix it, my fins are too tiny. Well, I can't fix it, I'm just one otter. Well, I can't fix it, it's not in my backyard. Well, I can't fix it, I'm too busy. I can't fix it, I don't know how. I've heard what you all have to say, and that's all true. Marina, you teach there. Our hatchlings learn there. We're all very busy and no one can do it alone. The pier is in all of our backyards. From how I see it, it's not a problem for one of us to solve. It's a problem for all of us to solve. And it's time we all pitched in and got something done. Pearl's right, we need a plan. If everyone helps a little, it'll be done in no time. Right then and there, we drew up a plan. Inky used his brilliant scientific mind to calculate the size and thickness of the new support beam for Paddlefish Pier. The Garibaldi hatchlings scouted the ocean floor looking for just the right materials, and Winnie the seahorse and Sandy the sea star helped gather all of the supplies. Otto and Marina scraped off all the old crusty barnacles from underneath the pier, and Wally the whale used his giant body to support the pier when we removed the broken support and replaced it using the old ship's mast. When the replacement and restoration project was all finished, Bella the Bass helped organize the cleanup. It was hard work, but when everyone volunteered to pitch in a little, the work was done in no time. Paddlefish Pier was safe again, and the habitat underneath it was protected for years to come. I'm so happy! 
turned out so wonderful. And now the children have a safe place to learn and play. I say we keep this going. What if we voted to put someone in charge of choosing and organizing more projects that need to be done in the future? Ooh, I nominate Marina! Yay! I'd be delighted to help. With everyone pitching in, it'll be so much fun. From that day forward, we all worked together to choose projects that would help make Sand Dollar Cove a safer, happier, and more beautiful place for everyone to live. Volunteering your time and talents to projects in your community makes you a good citizen. And a community full of good citizens is a fantastic place to live. All you have to do is set a goal, chart a course, and make it happen. Sand Dollar!